Hello and welcome everybody. You guys know Trusty Rusty. I use this to open all sorts of cards and packages and things. I bought this probably around the year 2000. And I love this Benchmade Access Lock. But all knives aren't like utility knives like this. People call them differently. Tactical knife, whatever. And I've made videos about this. But I want to talk about kitchen knives today. We're replacing our kitchen knife. And I just don't know where to start. So I'm going to bring you guys along this adventure the knife, finding a kitchen knife adventure. So I found this one, Babish, it was $30, it was $29.94 or whatever, at our local Meyer. Meyer's like Walmart in the Midwest, it's just another Target, Walmart option, big superstore. Stainless steel chef knife, knife. Uh, I haven't done any research, all right? So this is just purely what's available in my local market. Stainless steel chef knife, all right? Crafted from high carbon forged, and tempered German steel. What happened to this high quality American steel we're famous for? Double beveled or double bolstered handle. Reading through the viewfinder here. Seamless ABS grip secures full tang blade. All right. Well, a part of me really likes wooden handles, but I understand in a kitchen setting you want something sterile. So we have Babish against KitchenAid, eight inch chef knife. These are both eight inches. Yeah, eight inches, eight inches with blade cover. All right, now this one says Japanese steel blade. So the reason why I picked these two is that they look like they're, it looks like they have a full grind from the tip to the spine right here. So they both look like they should do a pretty good job cutting. And this KitchenAid was uh, $10, $13, I'll, I took a picture, I'll roll in a picture. But this is, you know, less than half the cost of this. And I'm suspecting it's gonna be very comparable in performance. That's why I'm doing this, all right? So shall we commence with the unboxing of two knives? And let me know your thoughts and opinions about either of these two. Have you owned either of these two knives? We're just looking for a kitchen knife. I don't wanna drop $200, $500, $1,000 for a knife when, you know, what am I making with these knives? You know, occasionally I cut tomatoes, occasionally I cut potatoes. Uh, it's a kitchen knife, celery, carrots, that sort of stuff. All right, let's see here. There's a seal here. All right, we're gonna use a knife to open a knife. This is the world we live in. Do you need a knife to open your knife? Maybe not, but that's what's going on here. All right, let's see if we can pull this out of here. There we go. Lovely opening. All right, this is where I cut myself and everybody laughs. All right, it comes in. This is German steel, right? So is this foam all the way from Germany? Oh, there we go. I'm seeing knife, some silica powder. Does this stuff remove humidity or oxygen? It removes oxygen, doesn't it? Power dryer. Well, this one might, uh, no idea. Let me know in the comments below. All right, Babish. Okay, so first impression is, why did they leave these polish marks on here. So for those not familiar with like materials, when we talked about material science in college, they talk about stainless steel being stainless because it has an oxidation layer, okay? And so you're expecting stainless steel to not be super nickel chromish, if that makes sense. And this knife right now I can tell you feels pretty good. The handle feels pretty heavy, so I'm feeling the center of gravity right here. Interesting, interesting. Nice, solid feeling handle. And look at this handle. It looks like it's been just ground down, milled down from a solid piece of, what do they say, ABS? AB, when I think of ABS, I think of drain pipe. All right, moving on to the next one. Because I'm on a mat right here, I'm actually not gonna use Trusty Rusty to open the kitchen aid here. I'm gonna use uh, a cheap pair of scissors. <laughs> this is my life. All right, I'm trying to think about the best way to open this. 
because this these plastic packs here what are they called they're not blister packs they're uh, whatever they're terrible and they always cut me always always without fail I find myself trying to open any sort of package and I end up with just a million little cuts so this is great content I know I know I love watching people struggle to use scissors it's my favorite YouTube experience all right here we go what is this some sort of kydex sheath well there you go next time you go to a cooking event you can just pack your KitchenAid Japanese steel okay so having a look at this uh, the KitchenAid looks much more like a traditional stainless steel that I'm familiar with uh, this one has these milling marks in it I'm not sure polished milling marks and I'm not sure how I feel about that is that what I'm paying extra for uh, the KitchenAid I'm gonna do the center of gravity check on this one too this one is right around the base of that blade as well and it feels a little lighter than the babish all right we had a quick pause there because I wanted to get my scale which I brought over because I want to weigh these two knives the thinking that I've heard is that a heavier knife is better because it helps cut through things but to me that's not my experience a heavier knife is just harder to repeatedly lift like if you're chopping carrots or something and it wears me out quicker now, I'm not saying I can't do it, I'm just saying I use more energy using a heavier knife than a lighter knife. So the KitchenAid was 165.8, 166 about. 166, uh, let's say 160, 165 and a half grams. And the Babish branded one feels heavier, and, and it is heavier. What's that? 65 grams heavier than the KitchenAid. All right, so yeah, so weight, in my opinion, this is my opinion, I'd probably stick with the KitchenAid. Like I do woodworking and I have a smaller vise because with a big heavy vise sliding it in and out all the time can be a problem. Oh, there's something written on this one. German Steel 14116. I know that. Because I've seen that before somewhere, probably on the box. Anyway, <laughs> let's see what the KitchenAid says. The KitchenAid has some little um, scratch. I know what I know what those are from. Those little marks right here. The reason why it doesn't look super polished is I was sticking it in its. Let's make sure I got my. I was sticking it in its little sheath here, so there's an opening kind of down here and it fits like this so that way that aligns like that kind of interesting application here of a sheath kitchen aid sheath all right well let me know your favorite eight inch kitchen knife i'm excited to read what brands you like and maybe i'll pursue those and compare with my favorite one of these and I suspect both of these are more than adequate for my purposes. So there we go. I'll let you know. Uh, let, I'll let you know what I think. But excited to read your comments. As usual, if you enjoy this content, please subscribe. I have lots of more stuff coming. Just trying to get the ball rolling again here after the pandemic. So bear with me. Thank you, everybody, for subscribing and hanging in there with me through this rough time in life. That said, I will see you in the next one.